low block heels. Good news this week from Planet Fashion, which is that the tyranny of the stupidly high heel may finally be nearly over. The low heel took a while to recover from the kitten heel years, uh, when we just overdosed on the kitten heel and it just became irredeemably naff and no one was allowed to wear them anymore and we had to wear ridiculously high heels. But now the low heel is back in a new form, which is the block heel. Now it's slightly Princess Anne, this shape of heel. The other thing is that whenever you show it to somebody, they say, oh, my Nan wears shoes like that. So it is also colloquially known as the Nan heel. Um, now this is the absolute classic shape here, a slightly 60s with this kind of little buckle on the front. And uh, this kind of heel, which the beauty of this heel is in the wearing. I mean, I'm not suggesting it's the most captivatingly gorgeous thing you've ever seen in your life, but makes a big difference, that, uh, that surface area when you're walking. I don't know how much you remember about pressure uh, from, your, from your lessons at school, but it's so much more comfortable walking on a large surface area than it is on your little spindly ones. Um, I think it takes a while for shoe shapes to change because we get so used to our silhouette and how we look and so much of that depends on the shoe that uh, it's not the sort of thing you can change in an instant in the way you can try wearing a different colour but I do think this is going to change our look. Now this one is uh, a loafer, it's quite preppy when you do it in that loafer style, this one from June. These are from Russell and Bromley. I quite like these because they're real dancing shoes, but dancing shoes you could really dance in, thanks to that fabulously sturdy heel. Now, the block heel is in Topshop which if you wanted proof that this trend was happening on a mass level, there you have it. Um, so there you are, the Nan Heel in Topshop. This is in Snake, which is uh, kind of creeping up on Leopard as the animal print for 2013. And then lastly, these are my favourite ones. Kind of like a lilac Dorothy shoe. I love how they look a little bit, a uh, little bit like tap dancing shoes. This gorgeous little, Heel, very sort of Mew Mew, I think, but from Kurt Geiger. <laughs> 